So as you see on the screen that today, the first part of this class will be conducted on a world view of the English language. Uh, we have uh, talked about the origin of several English language. That means in which way English language reached the several portion of this world. And in, uh, in this regard, now we will be discussing the, the scenario of, of English language at present of this world. And in this regard, uh, uh, American linguist, Braz uh, Kutchu, or Kachu, initiated a, that means the, That means uh, the present status of English language naturally it occurs for the cause of two reasons. Uh, what are the reasons of sorry, picture some technology? And we have uh, learned that the English language has spread it all over the world, basically uh, for uh, two reasons. And we know most of us, we know the reason that is the expansion of British colonial power and also the emergence of United States as uh, the leading economic power in the 20th century. These are the two reasons of spreading English and uh, becoming the global language all over the world at present. And the USA has nearly 70% of all English mother tongue speaker in the world. So if we study the scenario of present time, we will see that the USA, US has the 70% of the first language speakers of this world. We. And such uh, dominance, of course, there are some varieties in the uh, American language, and such dominance with its political, economic underpinning currently gives America a controlling interest in the way that the language is likely to develop in the current status as global language. We know the countries where English language is used as the mother language. And what are the countries? The countries are uh, the countries are sorry. UK, USA, and New Zealand, America, and these are the uh, countries. They use English as the mother language. But USA consists 70% of the mother language user of this world. And what about the other parts of this world? And, uh, and what is happening to the other parts of this world regarding English language? In this regard, the US linguist Braj Kachru has summarized the situation. And the US linguistic Braj Kachru has suggested that we think that the spread of English language around the world as a three circles. And these three circles represent the 
English language and nowadays for other three circles. According to Khasru, the first circle he, he has called that the inner circle. Inner circle is the countries where uh, inner circle is within the countries where English language is used at the primary language. That means the first language or the mother language countries where English is used at the mother language. This is called inner circle claimed by the US linguist Brass country. Uh, the, these are the countries, the US, UK, Ireland, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. And apart from this circle, Kachu has claimed another circle that he has called the outer or extended circle. And in this circle, the countries are included, they are called uh, in these countries where English language is used at the second language. And also we have learned the definition of second language in our previous classes. So these countries include Singapore, India, Malay, and over 50 other territories. So this is called outer circle or extended circle by infrastructure. And another circle he has claimed that is called expanding or extending circle. And this circle comprises with the nation where English plays the important role as a means of communication. Just like English is taught as an international language or a foreign language. And this country includes China, Japan, Greece, Poland, and the names of this circle suggest that it's still increasing number of this state. That means in the area, English is taught as a foreign language. So the three circles we have understood that is claimed by Pras Kastru that in our circle, that English is speaking as the mother language, the five countries. Then if we go forward, that is called outer circle in these countries, the English is used as the second language and the expanding and the extending circle that is the third circle in this circle English is used as either foreign language or international language. This is the three circle claimed by brush culture. And there are some 75 territories in which English has held or countries to hold a special place as a number of either the inner or the outer circle. Apart from this, uh, we uh, see that many countries, they use English as their first language, a small portion. And how many countries? Nearly 70% territories, they use English language as their first language. Again, we uh, see some other uh, territories where English is used as second language. So they are within the first circle or the second circle or the outer circle. These are given in a single alphabetical list below. So, Brasprostu had list uh, a table in which way we can understand that the scenario. And in that table, L1 stands for uh, first language and L2 stands for second language or international language or other. Here, this is the um, summary of the three circles. The inner circle, USA, UK, that is nearly 320 to 380 million people. And that this statistics is, is taken in 1990, 2001. And the outer circle, India, Singapore, 300 to 500 million. And expanding circle, China, Russia, that is 500 to 1,000 million. It means that the people, even English language using people, uh, in the third circle, there is nearly three times of the people living in the countries where English is used as the first language. Very good. And why? Actually, the data uh, that Brass Culture has put in the next scenario on the next table that has been taken you know, from these uh, sources. And the name of the countries are used as uh, 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 has been, have been 
used in alphabetical. So American Samoa, the first language here and the second language this. And Australia, the first language this, second language this. Bangladesh, only second language. We don't see any first language. The population at that country in 2001, the population was this. And the first language, the second language user is this. Okay. And it's nearly uh, one, three crore. And 50 lakhs people uh, at that time had been using English as the uh, second language or international language or the foreign language. And uh, In case of Cameroon, you see, this is the population of the country that is the ratio in 2001. And this is the second language. If we go forward, we see that uh, India, the first language user, this one. So that is also mentioned in the list that we see some other countries, they have both first language users and second language users. That means in Hong Kong, first language user and the second language user. Ireland, they are the first language user and also the second language. Jamaica, the first language user and the second language. Kenya, only the second language user. So these are the scenario. Malaysia, the first language user, this you see, yeah. These people use the first language and the second language user. English as a second language. So these are the New Zealand, you see the only the first language user, they, they don't have a second language user. Uh, these are the other area of using English language. Singapore, the first language user, and the second language user. And here, United Kingdom, first language user, and also the second language. United States, the first language user. And the total is, the first language user is 32 crore and the second language user is 43 crore people of this world. They use English as the, as the means of communication. So this is the scenario. And there is a portion that is uh, the notion of the variety of English language refers to have a Include the standard cuisine and real varieties of English. Actually, that that uh, what we have um, seen in the table that in the table the people using English language this they have the variety and both the standard both the standard English and also they have the variety of uh, variety of uh, cuisine and real language. And this is why. In certain countries, the usage total of the list are much higher than would be expected if only standard English were being considered. So these are the variation, uh, standard English and also the uh, pidgin and creole. And this pidgin and creole also English this pidgin and creole. And in Nigeria, just for an example, the large number thought to be well over 40% of the population use Nigerian Pidgin English as the second language. So what language you will call it? Of course, it's English. So we should take it granted that the people use English language all over the world that are not the standard English, both the Pidgin and Creole and with the variety of the English language. The linguistic justification of this, the linguistic justification of this approach is that these varieties are indeed the varieties of English, as opposed to these are not uh, French. Either it may be Pidgin or Creole, but of course, these are uh, English language. So it may be Pidgin or Creole. On the other hand, because of the end of the continuum may not be usually intelligible. It could be argued that 
we need to keep the standard English totally separate from that meeting. And it's also important to recall that we have a special place can mean various things. Sometimes English is an official or the joint official language of a state and its status being defined by law as in the India, Ireland and Canada. And uh, in India, Ireland and Canada, English is the official language and it is, uh, it is done by the law of a state. But in USA and the UK, English is not the uh, official status or it, 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 it doesn't. In few instances, English has lost the formal status it once had, though it is still plays an important role in the community. And in many cases, it's standing in less certain coexisting with this other language with the relationship. So English is used in this three circle, that means the first circle, inner circle, and the outer circle and the extending circle or expanding circle. So in this circle, nearly uh, uh, people use standard English, Fijian, and also the, uh, and a Creole of English they use. The grand total of 2,236 million in 2002 is well over a third of the world population. So the statistics that we have understood that in 2002, the number of people use English language all over the world. They are the one third of the world population. They are the one third of world population. They use, speak, they speak English as a means of communication. But of course, uh, only a portion of these people actually have some command of uh, English. So this is the uh, ratio between the total of 329 million represent a conservative estimate of this who have learned English as the first language. And the total would be increased if we knew uh, the first language figures for every country, especially in such areas of West Africa, where it is now known, uh, now uh, how many use a variety of English languages of this. And some reference books, these are the books uh, seem to take a more inclusive stance in this respect, citing as many as 450 million as a grand total at present. So the people we see that these people use English language um, as their first language or second language. And in this way, the total of 430 million represent an estimate of those who have learned English as the second language, but it doesn't give the whole picture. For many countries, no estimates are available, just like India, Pakistan, Nigeria, Ghana, Malaysia, Philippines, Tanzania, which had a combined total of over 1,462 million people in 2002. Even a small percentage increase in the numbers of speakers that to have in a reasonable command of English language occasionally expand to the second English as the second language grand total. So it is in any case, now we are well ahead that uh, L1 total, whether or not pigeons and Creole are included. So pigeon and Creole should be included with in the um, number of total, total number of users of English language all over the world. And If we take as a criterion, as a medium level of conversational competence in handling domestic subject matter, then we might accept that some three quarters of the total to be counted at the speakers of English language. Actually, how we will judge the level of English language uh, users? We see several levels, primary levels, uh, advanced level, or the secondary level. But if we uh, consider that the minimum communication level of English language, how many people have. In this regard, we will see that nearly three 
quarters of the total population of the world, they have the command of, of using English language. If we see this level, that means they will have the standard knowledge of having uh, communication of, in English language. So three fourths of the total world population, they can use English language. And faced with such notable variation in which people with a particular political agenda can figure the English being stronger or the weaker. A portion's temperament will use the average of the most recent estimate. And this produces a grand total of 1,500 million speakers from all sources, approximately 750 million first and the uh, second language speakers, and an equivalent number of speakers of English as a foreign language. So the figure permits a convenient summary given that the world population passed the 6 billion mark during the 1990s. And it suggests that approximately one of the four of the world population are now capable of communicating to a useful level of English language. So, so in uh, 1999, the world population reached up to 6 million. And among these 6 billion people, one in every four people, they can use English as a standard level of communication in English language. Two comments must immediately be made about this or a similar conclusion. That is, first, if one quarter of the world population are able to use its English language, that three quarters are not, not to have we travel far into the hinterland. So such kind of scenario can be refuted. That means three quarters people, they can't speak English language. So if you visit the tourist spot, airports, hotel, restaurant, or to encounter this reality, so you will see that everywhere the people, they are using one language. Tourist of any countries, yeah, tourist spot of any countries, the airports of any countries, that means they will have their own original language. Apart from that, they can use English language very well. So this is the scenario all over the world. So from that time, when the majority of the speakers were thought to be first language speakers, we now have a situation where there are more people speaking it as a second language and the many more speaking it as a foreign language. The scenario of the world population, that means the world view of world population, we see that, that uh, the, uh, more people use English as the second language and many more people use English as a foreign uh, language that we have also observed in the table that is been presented in the earlier portion of this slide. So if we combine these two letter groups, the ratio of the native and the non-native is around oh, one um, is to three. That means the native speaker, USA, UK, uh, New Zealand, and the other parts uh, first, where English is used as the first language. And the other parts of this world where English is used as the uh, foreign or international language. So ratio is one into three. That means one people, if one people use English as the first language, three people use English as either second language or international language. And another information over here, that is the population growth in this area where English is the second language is about 2.5 times that in the area where it is as the first language. So that this differential is steadily increasing. And David Gradle suggests that the portion of the world population who have English as the first language will decline from uh, uh, over 8% in 1950 to less than 5% in 2050. So one portion or one scenario, it has been presented that the population growth rate in the countries where English is used as the 
second language or the international language, the growth rate is uh, three times larger than the countries where English is used as the first language. In this way, we can also assume that the that the uh, number of English speaking users will also be increased in the successive period. Uh, uh, in the in the in the successive period. So you see the population growth rate in Australia 1.1, Canada 0 0.9, New Zealand 0 0.8, UK 0 0.4, USA 1.2. In Cameroon 2.6, India 1.7, Malaysia 2.5, Nigeria 2.8, and Philippines 2.4. So the average is 2.4. So the ratio is that where English is used as the second language or the foreign language, that means in these countries. So the population growth rate is much higher. So the scenario is that at present, that one people, they use English as the first language and three people use English as the second or foreign language. But according to the study of the population growth rate of these countries where English is used as the second or the foreign language or the international language, that is much higher. So in the prior, after that, we will see that the number of population will also be spreaded all over the world. So this is the scenario of English language that we have um, understood. And the situation is without precedent for an international language. Much will depend what will happen in the countries with the largest population, and notably China, Japan, Russia, Indonesia, and Brazil. So what would be the next scenario of English language? So at present, we can see that um, according to the Bas Kutchu that he has mentioned that there are three circles of English language. That is the first circle uh, or inner circle where English language is used as the uh, first language that is USA, UK, Canada, and, and USA, UK, Canada, uh, New Zealand, and Australia, where English is used as the first language uh, that is uh, the half circle or inner circle, and then the outer circle, where English is used as the second language, that is Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, India, where English is used as the second language, that is called the outer circle. And the third circle, that is the expanding circle, that countries include, include uh, where English language is used as the uh, foreign language or international language, or not the second language. So in this scenario, if you uh, get the ratio that in these countries, English is used, the standard English, the Pigeon English, and also the Creole English. But if we um, just the level of uh, communication level of the English language speakers all over the world, that we will see that uh, the ratio uh, that three fourths of one population can make the standard communication in English language. And uh, this is the scenario. And one thing that should be noted that the population growth rate of the countries where English is used as the international or foreign language is larger than the population growth of the countries where English is used as the first language, first language. So in this scenario, the situation will occur that the English language speakers in the countries where English is used as the second language or the global language or the foreign language will be much larger than the countries where English language is used as the first language. But what would be the future scenario of English language all over the world? It cannot be presumed. Actually, it will be presumed that is done, uh, it will be presumed in such a way that what will happen in the large countries of this world, that is, uh, notably in China, Japan, Russia, Indonesia, Brazil, what would be done? So if the standard uses of English language, what will happen in next time, that will be dependent on the uh, language policy of this country, that is China, Japan, Russia, Indonesia, Brazil. So this is the world view of English language. So...